Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Rick. Got a video today for modern dating here. Her biggest mistake was accepting the phone swap. Seven years of marriage gone. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that channel. It's Child Time. After seven years of marriage, he didn't expect his wife to have so many secrets on her phone, but the street interview got her off guard and he saw everything. Trevor. The new streak. He was trying to come see you. Huh? He said, what you doing tonight? Oh, no. You trying to link with him? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, she's trying to link. She's trying to link with him? She's trying to link. I got you, link. That's what I do. My man. This, again, I'm not a big fan of the pranking type channels and stuff, but I actually like the phone swapping thing. Even if it, if it was a guy caught cheating, I think it's wonderful. At least it exposes the cheater. Do this, man. Stay blessed. Walk away, man. Walk away. Oh, my God. My heart sank for this man. She had a little smirk on her. Years mean nothing these days. Really? I lost mine of three years, and she already was talking to someone new when she left. That's so wrong in many levels. You can tell he really cares about her and is hurt. Mm -hmm. I know the feeling, brother. Just keep your head up, moving forward. That man is gonna find content like this now and then become one of us. This is a man who probably never thought his partner could even do such thing. We can see he was surprised and couldn't believe it when he realized what was happening. He we say it all the time, right? The manosphere slash red pill, we don't recruit, but our doors are always open and there's men joining in flocks truly loves her and that scenario probably never came across his mind i know most of us felt his pain at this moment it's hard when you find out the person you trust is actively pursuing someone else and probably the guy she is after is the same person she told her boyfriend not to worry about because they are just friend and nothing else but the outcome of this street interview proved he wasn't exaggerating when he was concerned about that person the hardest part is the realization that you probably trusted the wrong person we could see her face of guilt. She knew that whatever messages she had been exchanging with that person shouldn't be seen by her partner. This type of scenario is one of the reasons people do not trust each other anymore and this is something they should take into consideration yep. when doing this. And she later going to be the same woman complaining that the guy she is dealing with has trust issues. How do they think that these issues are developed? It's interesting people no longer value the time they spend with their partner. No matter how long you guys have been in a relationship, things can still happen at any time and you can see them leaving without looking back. She didn't like the idea of swapping phones in a street interview, and what happened next explains why. How long have y'all been together? It's not really count that much, but I mean... Do y'all trust each other 100%? Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Do y'all trust each other 100%? Yeah. Maybe we test that there. Sure. Y'all two swap phones? Hello? Y'all two swap phones? Yeah, she, she was like, hey, what? Wait, you said what now? Phones? What are we talking about phones? Right now? Yeah. <laughs> Who is Ain't No Dealer? Ten. <laughs> That's <bad>. uh, Swipe <laughs> up. Look how you trying, you know, holla. Why, no. why make that emoji right there? Not sure. Swipe up. It seems like you're trying to show girl. Oh. Y'all together, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how you feel about that, bro? Um, I'm not sure, bro. How do you, how do, how would you feel? It's a, it's a better question. Betray it. Fair. That's fair to say. I probably agree with that. Yeah. How do you feel? How do I feel? I feel like the man hit me up second hand and I was like, okay, well, the man has my number. Now there's an excuse. You say he has your number? I said he has my number, yeah. I was well, like, just on Instagram, so he has your number too. Mo, the guy that. Oh, man. oh, God. 
She is with him because he pays for stuff, but otherwise she's not that into him. When your heart is broken and you trying to not be embarrassed, you laugh. I felt that my boy. She answered, how long you've been together with don't really count that much. Bro, from that answer alone, yeah, it tells I you she's cheap. I was confused. I've never met or heard of a woman that would forget any specific or special date and not keep track of how long it's been. This is very true. Notice the women never care to even look at the man's phone. They know it's over and usually are unbothered. True. She is blaming other guys for her actions. Typical. <laughs> he seems to be laughing so he doesn't cry. Yeah. Did you guys notice her comment on this question? How long have y'all been together? I really like count that much, but I mean... She shows disinterest in the relationship. Based on her response, it's meaningless, and that's why she couldn't care less about its longevity. At this point, she is giving a vibe of someone who is with him for other reasons but love. He is probably fulfilling other needs she might have, and that's why she is sticking around, and this is the sad part of it. He knew what just happened and couldn't say anything else, but laughed to alleviate the embarrassment of getting this information in public. I am happy that the man didn't blow up, didn't get upset. He just, you know, calmly spoke with the other gentleman like, I don't even know what to feel, brother. Sometimes there is no need to actually swap phones because based on your partner's reaction, you already know <laughs> they're hiding things they know you won't like. If you look closely at her facial expression, she gave the game up when she was making faces when the interviewer suggested swapping it now. She definitely wasn't comfortable doing it on the spot, oh, and no. this is something she knows would cause issues in her relationship. I always struggle to understand why they still stay when they want to be with someone else. If you want another person, the best thing to do is have a conversation with your partner and let them know that you want to take another road and go about your life. This is the best way to go about it as it will give both parties the opportunity to start over and possibly be happy with the new person. A lot of them stay but still pursue another person because they need the security and stability their current partner provides, but this is not an excuse for that behavior. True. If you are not- This is mostly women, remember, majority of the time men are paying the bills. Yeah, there are some of us that have it lucky that got a sugar mama or a woman that's willing to spend a lot of money on us, but far in between. Not happy with your current partner and want someone else, just leave and give him the opportunity to find another person who will be able to give him the love and respect he needs. We need to understand that you cannot make people like you. And if you find yourself in a situation where their feelings towards you aren't the same, just let it go. Walk away. The woman in the next clip literally refused to swap phone with her boyfriend, and she also displayed the behavior of someone who no longer wants to be with him, but for some reason, he is ignoring it. How long have you been together? Uh, almost three years. Three years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Out of 10, like, how much do you like, like her? Ah, uh, like, on a scale of 1 to 10? How about 10? Whoa! What about you? What would you say? Yeah, 10. A 10? No. Yeah, 10. It's beautiful, like, since y'all love each other so much, but like, um, how about you guys, um, like, uh, swap phones real quick? Swap phones? Like, to see how much, you know, like, Valentine's coming up, you know? You want to yeah. make sure who you're with, you know, you trust them, you know? With her face. Okay. Mm. So, like, you see how much she trusts you, though, like, why don't you trust them? I do trust him. I just want to do this. You, I think she's embarrassed. Shut the fuck up, you blue-pilled simp. Really? She's embarrassed. No, she's cheating. 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 I think she's cheating. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, God. Her entire body language screams cheating. Poor kid. Don't know about this video, but I would never swap my phone with anyone. There is something called privacy. Shut the fuck up, whoever this pr swap phones with anyone. Shut. It doesn't mean you are cheating. I don't think he understands the concept of trust. Her saying 10 is so forced yep. like she doesn't even mean it. Her Notice 10 was myself. genuine. 10 out of 100. <laughs> Poor guy. He even thought she was just embarrassed. That was hard to watch. If she literally refuses, it's everything you needed. Some women even... At least my man helped him out and said, she's cheating. As much as the man doesn't want to accept it or whatever it is... At least our man gave him the tools. 
When they are doing something their partner wouldn't approve of, they still have the courage to swap their phone because they believe whatever evidence their phone contains isn't that bad. But when you find yourself in a situation where your partner firmly refuses to swap it, you it's must bad. understand that something is definitely happening and her action just confirmed it. Did you notice his response to her actions? He Defended said he thinks she is embarrassed. This is the reason simps are not respected. Yep. They are doing a disservice to themselves. She knows he is putting up with it because he placed her on the pedestal and doesn't have other options. And this is something that will put most women off. They don't like when men display weakness. Did you True. also notice the pause she has made before reading him? I had it sound like how much do you like like her? Ah, uh, like uh, let's go one ten. What about a ten? Whoa! What about you? What would you say? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, that's she clearly doesn't like him, and by the looks of it, won't last long. Based on the overall scenario, he is mistaken if he believes she will be with him after displaying this simp behavior. Guys, you need to face reality and stop ignoring things when you see them. True. Stop trying to insist on things that are no longer there. Don't. I mean, to the few 5% of women that watch me, same thing to you, ladies. Stop ignoring red flags just because he's hot or lays down good pipe. Red flags are red flags. Maybe one red flag, maybe, you know, you can kind of overlook and, you know, put it in the bank somewhere. But when there's two or three red flags popping up, now you have to decide yourself, are you going to deal with this kind of person or are you going to leave? But if you're going to deal with this kind of person, don't be bitching, men nor women. Don't place yourself in a situation where you are clearly not welcome. Just call it a day and move on. In the next video, we have a couple who have been married for seven years, but for some reason, she was really uncomfortable and stressed just because her husband was checking her phone. Mm. She was all over the place trying to justify the evidence he found in her phone. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, That's a cute doggy! Oh, shit! Bro, nah, wait, get back on that, bro. Nah, bro, get back on that. That's mad. This man looks gorgeous! It's a good looking man! Still getting cheated on! It's never yours, guys. It's just your turn. Your girl's stressing, bro. I'm not even like, like the energy right now. No, but your family, we ain't, we ain't looking for family. Look, bro, why are you stressing? No, like, come on now. Bro, why are you stressing? Come. Who is that? Let me tell you, let me tell you. But what made her do this? All right. Feels like the guy pushed her. It's not funny. Don't laugh, lady. From years ago, but also her family. And then women complain they can't find a good guy. Yep. His smile is heartbreaking. Yes. She is clearly about to pass out just by having her partner of seven years looking at her phone. Her reaction says it all. Why isn't she relaxing? Take the dog, brother. Take the dog. It was a bit funny. We can see how hard she is trying to get her phone back. But the best part was when she was telling him the message he saw was from a family member. She didn't need to give him that information because after seven years, I guess he knows all of them. I would so it's pointless. So. She probably was trying to tell him about that cousin he never heard about, and that's why she needed to stress that information, but I know he is clever enough to know what she is trying to do. The husband was smiling, but deep down it's hurting him. Most of us would understand what it means to have our partner stressed just because we have her phone in our hands. Listen to her justification for storing her ex-boyfriend's messages. Uh, your girl's stressing, bro. I'm not even like, like the energy right now. No, but your family, we ain't, we ain't looking for family. Look, bro, why are you stressing? No, like, come on now. Bro, why are you stressing? Come. She probably still has the messages of a guy she dated years ago. Even if that is the case, why are you saving your ex messages when you have been married for seven years? I still have messages from my ex wife. I just save them just in case. What's the point of having those messages stored? Most likely she saved his messages because she still likes him, and this is something most men understand. Shout out to Manus for how I did Yeah, I've actually kept my messages with my ex-wife. I just actually deleted it this week because my phone was full. And the gigabytes on my phone were, were it was like, oh, it's limit. You can't do anything else on your phone. And it was like 20 to 15 gigs worth of messages between my ex-wife between the two years, or the 12 years we've been together. So finally got rid of it and now my phone is less foggy 
Please leave them below. I really appreciate that. I can do it next time. Ciao.